trade block in Mutt has been quite honestly abused. Over 90% of the trades are lopsided in value and are overwhelmingly used for nefarious reasons. Hey, what's going on, y'all? We just got some new Madden Ultimate Team news and so we are going through it together um it seems like they are just breaking down a couple of things that um they didn't clarify before dealing with the trade block opening packs and how players will be upgraded throughout the season so we're just going to skim through it and uh summarize some of it up for y'all so uh first things first you see antonio brown breaking tackles that's what he does simple stuff but it says player overall and so when I went through it the first time, it was basically making a difference. Like this season in Madden 17, when they dropped a new version of a player, it wasn't really noticeable all the time. Like the silver version versus the gold version, or even a slightly better gold version. Well, a lot of times, and I know for me, you played with the player with the lower cap because it didn't really make a difference. They were the same person, maybe at one speed faster, but if it didn't hit a threshold that made it a noticeable difference, it didn't change anything. So what they did was they gave an example of Julio Jones and they showed him being a rated overall 94 and 17 and what he'll look like in 18. And what they said was in order for a player to go up one rating, a lot of things have to be different. So for example, his speed is one more, his acceleration's one more, his agility's one more, his jumping's one more, his catching's one more, his spec catch is two more, so on and so forth. So they're trying to trying to emphasize difference between the players. Um, I don't know how well it's gonna, you know, compute, but the idea sounds dope. Um, then they gave Le'Veon Bell, they gave an example for him as well. Um, showing the difference of what he would be rated in Madden 17 and what his stats would be at uh, 97 or 99 and then in Madden 18 what he'd look like at a 99 and so as I scroll through it like I said you can see the things they're trying to say um, so that's cool um, then they said with going with packs what they're going to do is they're going to take out um, coaches stadiums um, uniforms and playbooks they're not going to be in packs and when you're opening packs is mainly going to be players so it's a good thing that those things are removed from packs sometimes you get so many of them I remember I had like 50 Patriot uniforms and all that stuff and you end up just putting them in a set and hoping to get something from it um, especially with playbooks if you like using the same playbook there's no reason to have all of them so they're introduced to something called team tokens so now when you're turning in your silver and gold players those kind of things give you team tokens where you're able to uh, buy stadiums or packs or team specific things that you're looking for. They're also going to incorporate team tokens and upgrading players. It gives an example of Mike Evans, who is going to be someone available at the launch of the game. Um, and he has three different tiers and it shows what you're going to need for each of the tiers. And each of them have buck tokens that you have to get. So you're going to have to have a set of let's say 10 Buccaneer players who you turn in and get tokens for. It also has chemistry boost. So if you're being team specific, it's saying that, you know, the Pittsburgh Steelers coach stadium and the uniforms, the, all those things can be upgraded. Adjustment to tiers, that's something else they did. It has to do with the player overall formula. They are now starting elites at 80. And it says that a lot of people in the community or a lot of fans like the idea. I don't know if I like the idea because what they're saying is a lot of people want to see their favorite players as an elite player. But if your player's not an elite player, I shouldn't see him with the red, you know, fire like he's ready to do some damage when he ain't did damage on a Sunday ever. So that's tough. I think elite should be higher. I liked it at 85. Um, 80 seems low to be an elite. Are you really an elite player at, at 80? Um, so I don't agree with that. Um, but we'll see how they do. Maybe 80 is hard to be. Maybe 80 is, maybe they'll set 80 at a, a good level where not everybody can be 80. And then the biggest news from this is the adjustment to the trade block. Now, what they're basically saying is people be kind in the trade system. Um, I put a player up that you know an elite player of mine and give it to a friend of mine for a bronze player kicker that doesn't matter like 
that stuff's gonna happen. People are trading players, um, um, people wagering players and stuff like that. So what they're adding on is they're gonna make it where once you trade a player, he's not optionable for the person who you traded him to. So that person can't make a dime off that, that player. If he trades him back to you, he's optionable again. So if you have a player from the trade block, you can't auction him. You can't sell him, you can't get coins, you have to play with him, which I guess kind of does what they're trying to do. It stops the, the wagering and all that kind of stuff. It kind of encourages trading with your friends because obviously if I need to give you an Andrew Luck and um, or Tom Brady, and you can't trade it well i mean all you can do is give it back to me or use it so i know that's the most controversial part of this whole scenario i know a lot of people are going to be like what why um it's kind of policing the trade block um it does say that they thought about taking it away completely but then they thought that wasn't a good idea which i agree you should be able to trade players um so you're going to hear some uproar about that for sure um but all in all, that's the newest blog that they have dropped. Um, more mutt news and more Madden news is going to drop. You can you can bet on it every single week until the game comes out. Uh, so this is Way B, one member of GFG. Always remember, keep God first, and we will see you in another video. Hey y'all, thanks for watching that video. This is T Counts from GFG. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Um, hit that the subscribe button. There's also a bell right next to it. Ring that bell. We have some more videos for you right there. Go ahead and click that button. I, that's a really good video. I already know it because I edited it. Also, follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, and on Instagram. Get the inside scoop from GFG. See y'all later.